Pope Francis said, quoted, do not worry. Gradually, people will accept same-sex couples. He said, do not worry. But gradually, people will start accepting same-sex couples. And he also said, Africa is a special case when it comes to LGBTQ. Because of the culture in Africa, that is why it's harder there for them to accept the same-sex marriage. But do not worry. Gradually, Africa will accept it. The Pope is, is uh, known as uh, one of the uh, most recognized head of uh, Christian society in the world. Yes, he's recognized, way, way recognized. He has power, a lot of power. And uh, for people who believe in the Pope very much, oh, they believe he has the power to forgive. Yeah. In those old days, if you commit sins that is against human and God, it is believed if you go to the Pope and confess your sin, if the Pope said, you are be forgiven, you are be forgiven. If you were to face death sentence, the Pope can overturn it and say, God has forgiven you, and that is just the way it is. Yeah. Pope is known as God representative on heart. Yeah. Even, sorry to say, way more respected than Jesus Christ. As Adenu. Yeah. Jesus Christ was condemned now. Jesus Christ was beaten, but you dare not condemn the Pope. As Adenu. Yes. It's the truth. If you are open to the truth, if you are open. So now the Pope have said that do not worry. Those of you Africa people who are calibrating and talking and trying to boost, carry your chest, they no, they don't go accept them. He said, You guys should forget them. Don't worry. It's because of their culture. Africa is a special case. They have culture over there that are stopping their heart from accepting it. But with time, gradually, gradually, they will start accepting it. Don't worry. They will start accepting it. Although, somebody may ask me now, Adam Sling, what do you think about same-sex couples? I am not in any place to answer that question. I am not. Honestly speaking, I'm going to tell you the truth. I'm not going to answer such foolish questions. You know why? It is not my place to answer that question. I go by the rule book. You know my religion. I have severally, 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 severally talked about my religion. I'm a Muslim. And if you want to know what I think about it, why don't you go and read the Quran? Go and listen to the preacher, read the Quran. Then you will know exactly what I think about it. I am not going to answer questions. There are people who are going to throw you under the bus and be like, what is your take on this one? And you want me to give you my take when you know clearly what the new world order is? Even presidents are afraid to even speak on this matter. If they are interviewed in uh, national television, they will tell you that's not our problem for now. We have other issues. They will dodge your question. Then you start asking me. People have asked me, Sebari. Then you start ask, asking me a common man. A common man, what he thinks. Come on, man. Go and read the Quran if you want to know what he thinks, what I think. Exactly. I will even encourage you to give that such answer to anybody. Go and read the Bible if you want to know what I think about it. Go and read the Bible. But when the Pope come out to talk about uh, accepting it, it kind of like contradicts the Bible. I am just saying, no. Oh, it contradicts it, guys. Contradicts it a lot. Contradicts it a lot. But the Pope have spoken, and let's see what will happen. I've said it before. In the few coming years, 
coming year, like 50 years coming now, you will see what the Pope mean by, don't worry, gradually, gradually, they will accept it. You will understand. If you don't understand it now, and most of you is going to boast, hey, not in the Apple, we are Africa culture, we are this. Uh uh, the Pope said, relax. Gradually, gradually, you know, see what will happen. <laughs> I pray we are alive then. Eh? I pray we all are alive to witness it. And again, uh, I want to talk about, uh, I, I want to really talk a little bit on this new headline. Say, Dan Gote refinery set to import crude oil from USA. Crude oil from USA. And here we are. A lot of people will say, ah, we thought Nigeria has one of the largest reserves for crude oil. Crude oil, what are the poor? Well, where river they come up for ground, like uh, crude oil they come up for ground, like a river. Yes, of course, we know that quite all right now. But, 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 eh, but, 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 there's all this but, but, but in politics. But, 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 but. So it seems like the capacity. According to uh, Imra, he said, Dangote refinery is set to import crude oil from the U.S. Let's to America. In the coming month, Trafigura, Trafigura Group sold 2 million barrels of WTI Midland to Dangote refinery to hand February delivery, said traders. With knowledge of the matter, this is the first time that the giant refin refinery as possessed a non Nigeria crude, traders told Bloomberg. Then somebody asked, this person said, but the crude we sell abroad for Forex to pay for petroleum import, why not give it to Dangote to refine? The another person said, I became suspicious of this refinery the moment it was commissioned and aired of completion, but just in time for petroleum subsidy removal. It told Nigeria that its product won't sell below import market price. It reported it produced only aviation fuel and diesel for its distillation calling, but not much needed gas gasoline contrary to scientific sense and now nnpp has hold horribly bought a stake in the refinery won't be able to supply its crude needed warranty is going for import crude imported crude this all suggests a refinery does not producing anything but want to distract nigeria we while importing refined products. So the person believe that Dangote refinery won't be refining any product. That they will just be buying refined product from the USA directly and deceiving us. Abba. <laughs> Abba now. Come on, man. Come on, man. How can you say they built such refinery with billions? It doesn't make sense now. And you say they are just that is just a show off that they will be buying product from the USA uh, or already refined product from the USA directly. Come on, man. People who are there are working presently. They are working presently. Then the person said that would take refinery is sent to uh some this, this person said the crude oil supply from NLPC won't be enough for that would take to refine. Because the Nigerian government already sold its crude oil to foreign nation in debt repayment. You know, we are still servicing debt in using our crude oil. Yes, so we are servicing debt in using our crude oil. We collect debt, we're going to service them. Well, you know, common man, many by 80% of Nigerians do not understand that down with a refinery and what are the details that consigns us, and what does it consigns us, and so many other stuff. Even the contribution of Nigeria, uh, Nigeria government to Dangote refinery, we still do not know it. We still do not know. Some people do not even know it. Me, I don't even know it. The contribution. And how do Nigeria have a stake? 
We just bought 20% of uh, the stake. 20%. Federal government has 20% of Dangote refinery. We just bought it now. But the fact is that eh, the only thing that concerns us, you and I, is how it's going to how it's going to affect common man. I see talking about common man. How Dangote refinery go to affect us? Will it make things easier for us? That's the question me I'm asking us. Will it make things easier for us or not? As long as it's not making things easier for us, then phew, where would it now? I don't want to hear about it. Hmm? Because the dollar is extremely going high up now. The dollar is 1,500 naira, my brothers and sisters. So <laughs> it's going up, skyrocketing. And we don't understand. So the thing is crazy. Because dollar and crude oil, Nigeria crude oil works hand in hand. You know, the works hand in hand. The kind of like regulate each other. So let me know exactly how you feel about that and let me know. If you are learning this, you know much about it. Please, you can we can talk. You can give me a call eh, or chat with me. I will call you. Then we have a really you you really educate me well about this crude oil matter. Because so far so good, the crude oil is still the same. It's not a bad time they start pumping crude or pumping fuel into the into the Nigeria uh, market so that we can know if it's going to drop the price a little bit. But you and I know dropping the price eh, is highly possible in Nigeria. Price may don't go up, but they come down. But that being said, eh, let's uh, check out this last story. A wife. Hmm? A husband came back and met his wife. Met his wife had put tribal mark on all their kids' face. Like you go out as a man, you come back to your house, you meet your children with tribal marks without your knowledge. What will you do to your wife? Man, this man's husband there, oh, beat the hell out of this woman there. When you come back, you see tribal mark for the children's face. Mark. Mark. Abba. 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 <laughs> well, let me know exactly what you're going to do and how you're going to react to Stushan's story as a man or what are you going to do differently. When you meet your child with a permanent everlasting mark on our body. Let me know what you're going to do.